By now you may have seen the So You Think You Can Dance series or Dancing with the Stars. The exploding popularity of partnered ballroom dance being represented over the airwaves. And we too have some of our own shining stars right here in Victoria. This is the Arthur Murray Dance Studios, where students and teachers are showcasing all their skills and hard work at the annual Spring Spectacular Spotlight. What I really enjoy about coming to these kind of events is we get to see the teachers take the spotlight. It's one of three such events to celebrate success in the classroom. Sure, it's a dinner and dance and lots of fun, but there are also students here to be judged. And in this situation, a little bit of friendly competition literally does keep you on your toes. Striving for the steps, practicing posture, going for grace and glory. Student Linda Gold is dancing with instructor Anthony Thompson. It's an opportunity for me to feel like I can shine in a, a special way. By day she works in the healthcare system. When she hits the dance floor and hears the music, it's showtime. She's only been dancing ballroom for two years. I've wanted to dance all my life and was waiting around for somebody to ask me and I realized a couple of years ago on a significant birthday that it was about time that I got up and did it myself since nobody was going to invite me so that's why I'm dancing. What about student Gilles Saucier? I wonder if he dances around like this in the kitchen. He's a cook in the military, trying to wow the judge by putting on a display with instructor Christine Mooney. Uh, dancing period is just fun. Not only is it pretty good exercise, uh, anybody who's shy allows you pretty much to get out. It's an open environment that pretty much uh, friendly people, so you don't have to really fear about approaching a, a lady and asking her to dance. And Marty Wall is a class act. He practices about four hours a week living proof you can dance your way through retirement. You're being judged out there, how does that feel? Well, I'm used to it. I, I'm a retired professor, I had to be on stage. I was like, it's like being in theater. I have actually come into it very late in life. I, I used to be able to shuffle in time to music on a crowded floor at a wedding, but I never really knew the steps. Do you have to have an accent to be a judge? No, I don't think you need to have an accent to be a judge. You know, a lot of dancers are coming from everywhere around the world. Martin Donsingi is himself an Arthur Murray franchise owner from Quebec City. Not only was he in town to do some judging, but he also offered some classes. You don't have voters on the dance floor. You know, like sometimes I was dancing to, a few years ago in Israel. You know, it's like when they were in war with the country, you know, like, like across the border. But guess what? In that country, there was an Arthur Murray dancing too. In the 1930s, Arthur Murray, a dancer and businessman, began building an empire, teaching people everything from a wispy waltz to a cantankerous tango. Arthur Murray's actually North America's second oldest franchise. And today, there's 270 locations across the globe. Dancer and franchise owner of the Victoria Arthur Murray Dance Studio is Theodore Kristoff. So I competed professionally all throughout North America. I did that for about five years. And now I focus a little bit on, uh, on just building a fun place for everyone to come to dance. I love changing the lives of people for the better. Dancing does that. And it's also a place where couples go to learn a few steps to impress guests in their first dance at a wedding. It is, it is relationship. Yeah, it's like relationship counseling, you know, there's a leader, there's a follower, and uh, even if I make a mistake, she has to follow me. That was something that we can use elsewhere in our relationship, which has helped, so. It's been a lot of fun though. We definitely recommend it. You guys look good out there. Uh, how long did it take you to wrap your head around the steps? Well, we've been at this for, in total, we've only done about seven or eight lessons. But it's been over the course of like four months almost. But the one nice thing about our, about Arthur Murray is that you can start at any time and you don't have to wait for semesters. From Victoria, I'm James Green for The Daily.